How's your seem to not be as good off the drop so far this season? And do you struggle to get a decent weapon as soon as you land on this new map? Because I definitely have had that problem learning this new map this past week. Well, here are what I think are some of the best drop spots on the new map, Storm Point. And if you haven't landed at any of these, I suggest you give them a try because they do not disappoint, especially the last one on this list. The first drop spot, one of my most favorite ones is the mill on the lower left side of the map. This is a spot that a lot of well-known players do talk about already. And I do love landing here in pubs, but it is a very decent ranked spot as well. Well, there are two very large buildings right next to each other and have very interesting layouts as well as maneuverability inside as well as outside. Both of these buildings have a lot of loot spread between the two of them with a decent amount of floor loot inside and just outside all of the doorways as well as a couple of bins in between them. The mill does get pretty contested sometimes but not nearly as much as other drop spots, even ones very close to it like Checkpoint. Also, the mill does have a fair amount of other buildings close to it. so if it is too contested then you can easily divert to the other buildings and come sweep up whoever is fighting there next up is fish farms on the lower right side of the map now this isn't very contested and to be honest i have only landed here maybe once but i have gone through this place late game multiple times and it rarely even is looted at all so if you're looking for a more low-key drop spot that doesn't get contested often but still has a very decent spread out loot pool within it and is in very close proximity to other drop spots like Gale Station next to it, is you will almost be guaranteed to have more than enough loot to walk into Antana and be able to clean up any kills in there. The third drop spot is going to be Antana. Now, I have landed here quite a bit. It actually was the first drop spot that I landed at in Season 11 on the new map, and there really is so many different spots you can land at, from all the buildings surrounding this place to landing at the back side of the inner buildings to even landing down low hitting all the bins at the bottom and zip lining all the way straight up to the middle building who this place excels the most for is movement based legends just like this map in a hole this is valk octane pathfinder and horizons playground these four legends alone will almost always dominate this area number four is going to be Stormcatcher, one of my absolute top three favorite places to land on this new map although it is rough and pretty contested most of the time again this is where movement legends will always have the advantage here and whenever i play octane or valk i can just maneuver circles around everyone else especially given the height this building has over the area plus it has a decent amount of loot spread across as well as a mini different buildings close by on either side and gravity cannons on the front and back side for easy rotate and or escapes plus some nice zip lines to make even more plays around this building and even more it is so close to command center so if you are uncontested and want some more fights it's just a hop and a skip over to command with tons of bins out front there as well before you go in and the last and absolute best drop spot right now is the cave on the far bottom right of the map right under the mill. This place has no name for it and even I had no idea it existed until a random I was playing with showed it to me. All it really is is a couple of bins inside the cave as well as a decent amount of buildings surrounding it as well as some of these drop pods you see is scattered around the map and a few other surrounding bins. But why this place shines is in the bins inside of the cave where you will always find purple and blue shields every single game no one ever lands here as of now at least and it is so close to the mill so just like other drop spots you can go in and sweep up the leftovers and get all of the loot there too and be set for the game and even after you go to the mill you can rotate in to checkpoint and clean up everyone there so knowing the best drop spots in the game you can click this video right here to learn more ways to improve in season 11 and i will see you guys in the next video.